July 29, 2025. In the icy waters off Russia's Far East, the Earth split with a roar no one could ignore. An 8.8 magnitude earthquake, one of the most powerful ever recorded, detonated beneath the Pacific. Within minutes, tsunami alarms echoed from Alaska's fishing villages to Tokyo's neon streets. Coastlines braced for disaster. But what followed wasn't just about waves. Hours after the ground stopped shaking, thousands of miles away, something far stranger began unfolding in America's Pacific Northwest. The Cascade Volcanoes, a chain of colossal peaks stretching from Washington to Northern California, began to stir. Not with eruptions, not with fire or ash, but with something subtler, almost unnerving. Seismic instruments lit up with a repeating pattern, faint pulses, rhythmic and steady, as though the mountains themselves had slipped into a heartbeat. At first, researchers thought it was just background noise, the kind of ringing Earth does after a megaquake. But these weren't random vibrations. They were timed, precise, and spreading across multiple volcanoes at once. Something in the Cascades had awakened, and scientists didn't know why. Seismologists expected aftershocks. They always follow a quake of that size, rattling like echoes in a struck bell. But what they saw across the Cascade Range didn't behave like aftershocks at all. From Mount Baker on the Canadian border to Mount Shasta nearly 600 miles south, monitors picked up a strange rhythm. Not violent quakes, not scattered tremors, but delicate bursts arriving in exact intervals, like a clock quietly ticking beneath the earth. The pulses weren't isolated either. They stretched on, repeating, for nearly six straight hours. Each wave appeared almost simultaneously across dozens of different stations, making it impossible to dismiss as equipment error. The Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, which has tracked everything from earthquakes to landslides, had never recorded anything so deliberate, so uniform. Dozens of bursts, equally spaced, forming a pattern no one could explain. It was as if some hidden metronome deep below the crust was keeping time, and every cascade volcano was responding in unison. For scientists used to chaotic, unpredictable seismic noise, the order was unnerving. Was it just resonance rippling through the range, or the first hint that something beneath the Cascades was starting to stir? By the next afternoon, the focus narrowed to one mountain towering above the rest, Mount Rainier. At 12.17 p.m. on July the 30th, sensors buried along its southeastern flank picked up something unusual. A swarm of long, low-frequency pulses, deep and resonant, began echoing beneath its icy slopes. They weren't sharp like quakes. They weren't strong enough to shake houses or rattle windows. But their precision set off alarm bells for scientists watching in real time. Then, almost as if on cue, the pattern spread. Mount St. Helens, infamous for its deadly 1980 eruption, registered the same strange signals. Soon after, Mount Hood in Oregon joined in, followed by the Three Sisters further south. One by one, the Cascade volcanoes appeared to be answering Rainier's call, their seismic signatures sinking into the same uncanny rhythm. Automatic monitoring systems quietly shifted into alert mode. For decades, these safeguards were designed to catch early signs of eruption, harmonic tremors, swelling ground, gas release. But this was something new. The network was recording a chain reaction with no clear cause. It looked less like isolated tremors and more like the entire mountain range was linked, pulsing as one. For residents living in the shadow of these peaks, the first question was obvious. Were the volcanoes about to erupt? The unsettling answer, at least on the surface, was no. Normally, when magma begins to rise, the ground swells like a balloon, GPS stations record shifts in the Earth's crust, and volcanic gases surge from cracks and fumaroles. None of that was happening. Rainier's glaciers remained calm. No new steam vents appeared, and satellite scans showed no abnormal heat escaping from its surface. St. Helens, Hood, Shasta, all showed the same story. Nothing out of the ordinary above ground. To the naked eye, the mountains slept as peacefully as ever. And yet, the seismic pulses wouldn't stop. Hour after hour, faint but deliberate signals kept resonating, as if something beneath the cascades was moving to a rhythm only the instruments could hear. For veteran volcanologists, it was a riddle. The signals looked eerily similar to the tremors that sometimes precede eruptions, but without the usual physical signs to back them up. It was like hearing a warning siren with no smoke, no fire, and no visible threat. Something was happening. But what exactly? The more scientists dug into the data, the stranger it became. This wasn't just Rainier, or even a handful of restless peaks. By the end of July 30th, over 40 seismic stations across the Pacific Northwest were lighting up, each recording the same faint, rhythmic bursts. In total, 
nearly 14 major volcanoes in the Cascade Arc were chiming in. The timing was uncanny. Every 11 minutes, almost like clockwork, another round of pulses arrived, weak to human senses, but unmistakable on instruments. It was as though the entire volcanic chain had slipped into the same tempo, each mountain adding its voice to a hidden choir. Some scientists compared it to resonance in a cathedral, a low hum echoing between massive stone walls. Others called it a bell choir, each volcano responding to the same strike. What unnerved experts wasn't just the synchronization, but the precision. Earthquakes and volcanic tremors are chaotic by nature, full of irregular jolts and noise. These signals, by contrast, were almost elegant, too clean, too ordered. For the first time in recorded history, the Cascade Range appeared to be singing together. The question was, who or what had rung the bell? Inside university labs and USGS offices, the debate ignited immediately. What could possibly make volcanoes hundreds of miles apart pulse in unison? One camp argued that the explanation lay in physics. The Kamchatka megaquake had sent enormous pressure waves rippling through Earth's mantle, like sound traveling through a drum, the cascades resting on a fragile mix of magma chambers, faults, and superheated fluids may have simply listened to the impact. In this view, the volcanoes were acting like tuning forks, vibrating in sympathy to a global jolt. But others weren't convinced. Ordinary aftershocks don't repeat with such precision. They don't arrive every 11 minutes as if guided by an unseen clock. Dr. Andrew Forrester of the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network put it bluntly. Random geological noise doesn't keep time. His colleague Dr. Tessa Nakamura reached for imagery instead. It's as if the entire arc of the Cascades was gently wrung out, she said. Not violently, but enough to make the mountains hum. Theories range from resonance within deep magma pockets to stress redistribution along hidden faults. But no one could deny the central mystery. The mountains weren't just reacting. They seemed to be responding. While experts debated theories, history cast a long shadow. Mount St. Helens had erupted in 1980 with only weeks of warning flattening forests and killing dozens. If a similar awakening happened today, the impact would be catastrophic. And Rainier, towering with vast glaciers above populated valleys, poses an even greater risk. A sudden eruption could unleash lahars, volcanic mudflows capable of burying towns within hours. The synchronized pulses might fade harmlessly, but the reminder was chilling. The Cascades don't need much to turn from quiet guardians into deadly forces. By early August, the race to decode the anomaly was in full swing. Teams across the Pacific Northwest began reanalyzing seismic archives using matched filter analysis, a technique that compares new tremors against decades of historical data. The result was surprising. The Cascades' pulses didn't resemble classic eruption tremor at all. Instead, they looked more like slow-slip earthquakes, hidden movements along deep faults that unfold quietly over hours or days rather than in sudden jolts. That raised unsettling questions. Was the Kamchatka quake nudging buried Cascadian faults into motion? Or was something deeper at work? Another group of scientists pointed to resonance. They argued that the quake had sent standing waves rippling through Earth's mantle, like sound bouncing inside a massive cathedral. In this scenario, the volcanoes weren't just reacting. They were amplifying, their partly molten interiors catching and repeating the energy. For volcanologists, it was both exciting and unnerving. If correct, this meant megaquakes could trigger chain reactions in volcanic systems without any magma movement at all. The mountains didn't need to erupt to respond. They could be stirred simply by the planet's heartbeat. Soon it became clear the Cascades weren't alone. Monitoring stations in Japan and Russia reported faint sympathetic tremors in their own volcanic arcs, as if distant mountains had felt the same planetary shiver. At Mount Shasta, geophones picked up unusual ground noise, while Rainier's fumaroles showed tiny but measurable heat changes. The idea spread quickly. Could invisible seismic threads link volcanoes across the world? Dr. Wren of the Global Seismology Institute summarized it bluntly. Volcanoes don't act in isolation. They're part of a global system that sometimes responds together. For the first time, the Cascades seemed to prove him right. By the weekend, a cautious consensus began to take shape. What the Cascades had experienced wasn't magma surging toward the surface. It wasn't a prelude to eruption in the traditional sense. Scientists gave it a new name, volcanic micro-resonance. Energy from the Kamchatka quake had traveled through Earth's crust and mantle, briefly stirring the volcanic chain into a strange synchronized hum. The signals eventually faded. The mountains fell quiet, 
and official alert levels stayed at green, but the implications were staggering. If one quake could make volcanoes whisper together, what might happen when the next megaquake strikes? Could these faint rhythms be harmless echoes, or an early glimpse into forces that tie the planet's great volcanoes into a single system? The mystery remains unsolved, and for now, the cascades are silent once more. But silence isn't always comfort. Sometimes it's just the pause before the next note. So what do you think? Harmless resonance or warning sign? Drop your theory in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, because when the Earth speaks, it pays to listen.